That was good, Brixton. We were excited for tonight, yeah? Yeah, yeah let me get a little bit more noise. We're excited for tonight. Yeah? yeah? All right, boom. I'm going to kick it off. It's a pleasure to open. I've never performed here before, so it's the first time. So I hope you enjoy what I have to say. Um, I'm going to do a piece called What's Human? All right? Because I feel like sometimes we forget that we are humans, you know? Regardless of colour, race, religion, it doesn't matter. You know, there's a lot of things going on in the world that need to be addressed. And um, hopefully this will open all our eyes. You get me? Hey. What's human? Descendants of Isaac Newton. If an Israeli see a Palestinian, he'll shoot him. What's human? Go loot him. The Mark Duggan shoot him. Innocent humans. Victims of a crime that still haven't been proven. Or a racist movement with an agenda to remove them. EDL recruitment. It's a shame we are all the same. All live and die. That there's been proven. But still, that's human. We don't respect one another. Where's the love for a brother? My people dying every day, yet they're forced to run away, and you expect them to stay with no human rights. Yes, this does happen today, but that's human. Children dying and starving, while others live in a million pound apartment. Or a man at a computer pressing buttons tickle with thousands, it's a game bro, he's laughing. Is he doing a job? Or did he kill a child while the whole family watched? He's a human. Diasporic movements. Now refugees forced to flee because another nation removed them. Blown them up, broken down and abused them. Toxic fumes induced them, slowly tore them apart. And when they claimed their rights, the opposition refused them. But these are humans. Where's their rights? Promised to live safely according to the amnesties that were typed. But the truth there has been tamed, G. And in this day and age, it amazed me how a guy can be oppressed. And a thousand miles away in Saudi, another Arab's blessed. Selling oil to the guys that seem to be obsessed with the Middle East and Africa. But they're the lands that's blessed. Sudan is hella stressed. The West progressed on the Arab conquest and have sent thousands to their death. But these are humans. I just pray that one day we can come together and we can prove to them that no matter how we look or talk, we are all the same, we're all breathing. All of our family, and if they died, we'd all grieve them. All live and die, all told a lie. But what's life's meaning? We are humans, a multicultural movement, a natural force of nature that cannot be beaten. And if we help one another, then there's nothing that can ever stop us achieving. So when you see one from another culture, please greet him. Don't violate back chat and deceive him. Cause one day you may have nothing. And off his plate you could be eating. Please reason and think human. What really is the meaning? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Still in blue, yin and yang. That's where the code our lives did by. From right from wrong, that's not the case for me. 2019 was the start of for me. The moment I took the red pill. I thought I was in love as a woman. Instead, it was loneliness. To this day, I don't know what love is. I was a broken man when I took the red pill. Like the star sign that broke my heart in two, my belief was also slashed and burned. Now the other half is gone. I traded my old beliefs on logic, knowledge and power, but I lost my emotional resilience. Now they're trapped and sealed. I felt taking the red pill would heal the pain. Instead, it took a down route. The GPS took me to a direction, led me to a journey of pain and rage, thinking I was being lied to by everything I believed. My love for the world was a lie. COVID-19 didn't help. It made me more worse. The 2020 vision would blind my eyes. Damn, now I know how Steve, Steve Wonder feels. I believe I was a genius instead. I was a fool, thinking having logical was the answer to everything. Every time I would have a conversation with a woman, I would think you at least have to have an IQ of 100 to chat with me. Because seeing that I'm better than them, like I was the most equivalent thing on earth. I lost my emotional connection with the world. And for that, I'm sorry, I can't go back to my old ways. I'm here, I'm here from old scars, and the real pill is still there. Like I tell you, never fade away. It's become my medication now. Funny, the star sign that broke me in two is how Jesus broke his bread in two. It's the last supper. It now helped me recover from the pain. I may not be able to return back to the old days, but I always look back and laugh at it. I felt for someone who was like broken, like the tables when the Dudley boys knew. But I gave thanks to that broken pain and made me understand myself and guide me through life. No matter what, I always love life because that's the ultimate medicine for me. Thank you. So, I've realized after some years of reflection, I'm in a situation with my depression. Our relationship is complicated. We act like we're a couple, but we're not exclusive. We're definitely not friends, but can't be together either. Plus, I'm kind of seeing someone else already called anxiety. So if he's my man, that technically makes me a cheater. 
Because of him, I always wake up on the wrong side of the bed. I always gotta clean up after his mess. Like this morning, I woke up to his puddle of sweat. I had to mop it up before I got dressed. He is the longest relationship I've ever had. I really wish it did not last. We don't talk about the future, because I'm still not over the past. And he's always the last thing I think about before bed. For some reason, I just can't seem to get him out of my head. He's running in it, so... Why am I the one who's breaking a sweat? Sometimes, when I'm driving on a night out, he snatches the aux cord, turns on the radio, and replays the times that he would shout at me, no one wants you, you're worthless, you're not good enough. I bought into his lies and now I'm in debt. Sorry, no refunds or exchanges. I should have kept the receipts. Keep the coins, I just want some changes. He doesn't check in to him, I'm a checkout. And sadly, self-service is on service. I need help. We aren't an item, so I can't put him back on the shelf. He's taken everything and yet he still wants more. Even when I'm low in stock and there's nothing left in store, I'm depleted. We need a break. I mean me, I need a break. I'm working overtime and I'm getting underpaid. My life used to be me standing on the top floor of a skyscraper. I could almost see heaven and there I see him approaching me. What's the date? Oh, it's 9-11? Now my body is a building that's slowly collapsing. COVID ended, but I'm still isolating. People are worrying about me, but they don't understand that sometimes I just don't want those close to me to be close to me. I need to social distance. I just need space. So I go long distance. That's why my heart races. I'm competing in this year's mental health Olympics, and I'm determined to reach the finish. They don't get it. They don't get me. But he does. See, he knows my mind. I guess that's why they call it head over heels. But truth is, my head still hasn't healed. They still don't get it, and they still don't get it. Thank you. <laughs> My friend, they don't get it. They don't get me, but he does. See, he knows my mind. I guess that's why they call it head over heels, but truth is my head still hasn't healed. They still don't get it. I just don't want to hurt them whilst I'm hurting. My friends think I'm fine. My family think I'm fine. Men who see me on the street think, damn, she's fine, and look, I'm not fine. <laughs> Depression sucks the life out of me. So forgive me for ghosting you. I just wanted to know what death feels like. Maybe I should try and laugh after death because when I'm alive, I feel dead. I'm scared. I want to hide. Where do you see yourself in five years? All I see is a death scene. But I can't tell if the murderer was him or me. I'm scared. I want to hide. You can't see the damage because he's breaking me down from the inside. People tell me you're acting different. You're not the same. I thought I was going insane. I thought I lost my mind, but I realized he stole that from me. Please believe me when I say depression is a thief and he'll never be caught on tape. I remember when he first spent the night. I ain't get no sleep. Tossing and turning like we were having a pillow fight. I thought every thought that was dragging me into the dark, tempting me with a blade, offering me a drink to take the pain away. And we still fuss and fight to this day. He's taken over 20 years of my life away. And we're not even married. Thank God I'll never be his wife. The only ring that I recall was the one from the Samaritan's helpline. I thought that suicide was the only way out. He told me to end it since I had so much doubt. I'm scared. I'm scared to leave him right away, but I also don't want him to stay. He lives in the biggest room of my head, and he doesn't even pay the rent. He just vents. My mind is his studio, so when he releases his latest playlist of anger and frustrations, I'm always the first one who hears the audio. I've tried to evict him, but he always returns, banging harder. It's stuck on repeat in the back of my mind. I recite and overanalyze the lyrics of his albums. I tried telling him, look, I'm just not feeling this anymore because recently I've gone numb. It's not always bad though. He still gives me butterflies. He's there when I cry, but he doesn't like me talking to other guys. Yeah, he's the jealous type. I'm on the market, but I'm not for sale. He tells me you're mine. I don't want other guys thinking you're available. So selfish. I get no pleasure from his intimacy. He's the prince of charming me. I'm his puppet, punctured with pins. I'm under his spell, but... He doesn't even pay attention to me, so I know he definitely cannot afford to pay for our sins. So I left him, and I met someone new who I knew would make room for better. I was like an empty cup that ran dry, but this new man gets it wetter. My first real love, he spoils me rotten. All the pain I went through, I've forgotten. I moved on. I have Jesus Christ, and now I'm living my best life. Thank you. Yeah, yeah.
There's never time enough when a dream is over and you have to watch them fall asleep to the dreams of someone new. Laughing at the jokes you once told me when no one else existed inside this reverie when love songs were created in the shade of your gaze. Juvenile fantasies, innocent hearts praying. But I see you, and I know she can't be me any more than he can be you. Saturated in each other till we run each other dry. Plastering over the cracks with naive platitudes such as love will conquer all and all you need is love. Finger food of love's fool. But like colliding stars, we exploded with the full force of creation destruction, the union of Gaia and chaos. Oh, mother, help us. We didn't just make love. We made tsunami. A series of underground volcanoes erupting in synchronicity to the will of Poseidon himself. We were Abelard and Eloise. We invented color and redefined gravity. We saw through time and space and traveled back in time to the place of our birth to experience our rebirth into this dream we call life. Enveloping each other drowning each other, awaking adrift on the shores to the sounds of sirens screaming, pleading, run, run before chaos makes a mockery of us all. So, hold her tight, bring her right up to your chest. Breathe her in. Let her help you forget. For this love loves like only a lover who's held the other's trembling heart in the palm of their hands could ever truly understand love. And in your breath, breathe her in. And let me go. Breathe in her peace in place of the torment and rage, the love we once made, made. Raging bulls clash even in passion. Let her serenity quench your thirst. Let her flowers bloom in your fertile gardens, my fires left scorch. difficult situation. She is moving on with her life and now she has found someone else. Who knows for how long? Who knows if her partner will be better or worse than you? It doesn't matter at this point. By your words, you've been trying to get back with her. But remember, she is moving on. 
you are longing for the past which has already gone. Perhaps there is some deep insecurity or some mental blockage which needs resolving first, such as a fear of being alone, a loss of purpose, identity, self-confidence, or perhaps your ego has taken a massive beating and your defense mechanisms are kicking in, telling you to stay with what is comfortable and familiar instead of what is uncomfortable and unfamiliar. I am aware that people may be telling you to move on, but it is of utmost importance not to put a time limit on this. This process of healing can take months, years and decades and assuming you want to move on and heal and you truly accept this it would be a welcome first step if you still want to go back to her it is your choice but she has made her choice and it is to not be with you <laughs> I am also aware that when we are in these highly emotional states of mind, we may not truly comprehend what others are saying, but every lesson does not need to be learnt the hard way. We can learn from other people's life experiences to help advise our own. It is possible you may brush over what I am saying, but there is some truth in what I am saying. And I would ask that you at least try to understand where I am coming from and that I want to assist you by offering some knowledge and wisdom which has done me well in my own life. Always remember, her happiness is her priority and your happiness is yours. Your son will suffer the most from this breakup, and we can only hope his life will be well. When you realize that you want to move on, these words will make sense to you. I hope that day comes soon. Um, I'm actually too gassed right now because I've been coming to these events. I've been in the poetry scene since 2016. Obviously, um, I'm good friends with Fisky and a lot of the poets. So to have this privilege, I'm gassed, literally. Had to bring out the blue hair and everything. Yeah, yeah, come on. Uh, um, so I'm gonna do two spoken word pieces and I'm gonna do two songs. Is that right with you? Yes. Okay, so before I start, we need to check the energy in the room. So when I say mind, you say over matter. Cool? Yeah. Mind. Over matter. Mind. Over matter. Mind. Over matter. Mind. Over matter. Yeah, right. You're warmed up. Nice. Okay, so um, I'm just going to put a disclaimer out there. There's a couple of chiggler topics, um, but hopefully you'll vibe with it. All right, cool. Protect our men because they are not always able to express their mental health. Protect our young girls, protect our young boys, and protect our women. Penny for your thoughts, but they never paid up. And now I'm bankrupt, fucked up because they never paid up. Mm -hmm. Penny for your thoughts. Too many young buds are cut from the roots before they blossom, made to flower before their time because he said she looks beautiful. Because beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, but also in the eyes of the deceiver. What well, wasn't meant for him, but now they're the receiver. International drug games doing major shipments, but nothing like the importing of these roses who don't rest well, losing petals before they prevail, roses 
leaving their seeds that will never germinate, just blow in the wind and trying to find stability. Their roots will end in concrete, but never know the roses they were destined to be. But you know what they say about the roses who were born through concrete? They can break through any surface to achieve. I want to plant my rose bush next to a stream so the water supply can fulfill my ancestors' wildest dreams. Barbed wire to keep out the intruders. These roses will grow and flourish till death and new life. These roses ain't for sale, so fuck your price. These shears will be met with, your shears will be met with blow torches. Rose, rise, omnipotent, successful, exonerated. Let my girls flourish into women. Stop stealing their innocence. Let their cute smiles become award winning. Those humps and bumps were God given. Let my young girls flourish into women. That was the first piece. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. from the jungle, different hood, but they shared the same struggle. Too many snakes and rats, but it never stopped the hustle. But, but it never stopped the hustle. Cause she was trying to love him for free, but he was battling scars, PTSD. Unless you're coming from the hood, God only knows all the shit that we see. The skeletons in closets, just bodies in their breathing. Heavy like my casket and it's carrying my demons. And it's carrying my demons. Than my skin, the only person really knows is posting the bin. Contemplating how things change since you went away. I live my life PDC. Pray for better days. We used to turn hard, just desert his position. And turn your soul around for a Maggie and a score. For a Maggie and a score. I guess that bitch lacks ambition. I 
I got mad scars, but I look untouched. Don't ever tell me about my grammar. Side time, bar only took one punch. If I tell you I'm the best, I'm a liar. But if you say that I'm the best, I've won. Doesn't make sense. Pence, pound, a dollar, whatever you want to holler, I son. Gotta make bread. Hence, now. I'ma kiss my teeth and never swallow my tongue. No regrets, no. If you're gonna stay on a ship that's sinking, don't get upset when a brother man jumps. Please don't chat about the hood. I'm good, I'm still from the hood. I know it's not tough. You're just a fan of the drill scene gas, cause your favorite MC made a track about guns. First time I held the strap, I was four years young. We was living in the flat up in Hackney. My dad said nobody fucks with the family. And since then, I had my first taste of the suit at two. No punchline, sadly, for that. But what are you gonna do? We move like a gypsy who gets real aggy when if you'd be happy. We cold, we flow until we get old. Don't make me get in my zone. Don't make me get in my zone. We addy, we cold, we flow until we get old. Don't make me get in my zone. Um, pay for the cost, I spray for them cordially Came a long way from selling them scores in the block Outside little shop on the corner street When I'm on the set, no tomfoolery If it sounds like detail, forgery Got my own path that nobody can walk for me ADHD get a bit autistic So forgive me if I zone out when you talk to me Wasn't interesting, wasn't impressed with Wasn't interested, the sound of the drop Tell him it's wrestling to get you pounded a lot, actual violence. I met Kane at a shoot, the best of us back with natural timing. Came up rhyming with rags, met Miss R Lee, then boom, and he is climbing. Rotted, me and Turkish on the road to a milli. We ain't even started, just naturally shining. I've been clashing them seats on sets offline, they're actually asking if he actually writes it. Well, no, I identify as a kid, not a block. Even when I'm broken, getting in, it's not a joke. I'm telling the MC, what's your motherfucking tone? Don't you know we addy? We cold, we flow until we get old. Don't make me get in my zone. Don't make me get in my zone. We addy, we cold, we flow until we get old. Don't make me get in my zone. Ah, oh, we addy, we cold, we flow until we get old. Don't make me get in my zone. Don't make me come for your. Don't make me come off the dome. Don't make me come for your throat. Don't make me. Don't make me make you go ghost. Now I'm playing. I ain't ghost to nobody. That was the first track. Right? Hey. Yeah, yeah. How you feeling? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, question, question. I had them gasping, to be honest, I'm fed up asking why they paint the devil dark skin. Invest in products, then you bought the scar, detail, caught a nosebleed, he fought too hard to please you. E12, E12, know the earth's my boulevard, and what a way to see too, that I'm full of bars to greet you when I see you. It's full of heart, pull apart this EQ, don't let this mix deceive you, though it's see through, bro, don't. I told you all of that poet talk is cheap, so how you call it hard? Mad sock, how you call it hard? That man will eat you. Bad bars, real bad, like how did he do that? Then preach to reach you, life is all of us to breeze through, so in all this dark I see you. Talking large, walking past the ones, the ones called you dark, but leave you in a pool of blood. See through though it's cool, I'm calm, calm, and hit him with the Prada fit him, and that's all I ask. Man flex like say his name's Kakarot Any fake go Q, you cack a lot, you know Q You brag a lot, you boast to, you had a lot to go through But bro, blow something up, you chat a lot Your wife is in a one piece, told you You need to draw the sword like it's Camelot Roll to, had a groupie tag along, no bag of honest, no loot Let alone loot, slap a trap or run the track and call it rap Clap, clap, they sold you, you clap, controlled you They own you in fact, but they'll act like they don't Dude and the crazy thing about that is, the youths are not alarmed. Thank you, that one's called Nosebleed. Put the CE on the map, did it with the elements though. You're too skippy with the raps, stop ripping off the Eminem flow. I'm not feeling what he's back, I'm telling them, yo, don't get lippy. 116 had them all on the tippy. Yeah, rude boy, all 10 of them toes, not feeling them feminine tones, you're gritty. That coke line's longer than an elephant's nose, that's blow right, snow white, LMF up. Laughing my face off, tell them let's go. First calm, then it's take off, then it's death flow, straight arms at a bake, or off your test, go pick a lane. It's worth it. Don't wanna hear your inner pain if it's innovative, I'd rather go ahead and pick your brain, I'm a surgeon. You can hear the ooze and arse when he gets a word in. Spit a little truth for the art, then he gets a perfect on the stars, cause he knows where we are, but it isn't certain to last. A couple of tweets and then it's curtains. Ha! Nah, no. please fill a couple of schemes and they get nervous. Fear the wrath of an MC with a purpose, then see with them Kermit MPs at the bar. There was like D, I MC for the worst myth, and I was like, nah, you MC for the charge. You ain't got soul, you ain't got heart, you're hollow, your past, not anything but. But, road, I don't wanna hear you get smart. Life is a stage, this is the Apollo. You're about to get booed off from the start, do you follow? Sit on a quitter pill with a dance, I mean. Bit of a bitter pill to swallow. Killer with a kill, but he couldn't fill the glass. Now they wanna ask who I is. Look that pussy in the iris. Tell him I'm D, giving them peace and past too vibrant. Hearts to the brave and the spineless. Put a C on the map. Did it with the elements though. You're too skippy with the raps. Stop ripping off the Eminem flow. 
I'm not feeling what it's that, I'm telling them, yo, don't get lippy. 116 had them all on the tippy. Yeah, rude boy, I'm dead in them. In my head, I'm barring. Beast mode, I'm gonna get your respect by barring. Beast mode, I'm gonna come for your neck by barring. Beast mode, don't ever think that we're friends, cause I'm barring. I'll make a hater forfeit. If you wanna talk about free flows, I don't wanna hear no bullshit if you uploaded and didn't get a repost. Earth to rapper, nobody really cares if you're feeling emo. Learn to stack up, I got words to serve. Any nerd that back up, every word that I chat, if they yearn for mantra, they can get it. You never heard of an actor, the sickest mind, you're from a different time and you won't give me no credit. I never make it online. What is so called social networking? Every time I say the word social, I use air quotes. Hopes that you know that I'm in it. Get it? You were never meant to. I can see your Instagram account, log into your Facebook, Twitter page, hit Reddit, then end you. You can never tread where I'm stepping. Tend you. Better get a leg while I'm lukewarm. Cause when I'm hot, it's a new dawn and you're so weak, I don't sense you. I don't even need to even two horns. If we're gonna clash, you're gonna need a sensu and a new form. But when I'm online, I'm really out here sending death threats. You just like to follow my pics. Forget get everything I just said. We're best friends, I'ma hit you up in a bit. And when I do, you better holler like, yes, yes. If I see two blue ticks and it says red, I'ma get vexed, tap along, ask text and pray to God that I don't press send. But this is the end of that. You too skippy with the raps. Stop ripping off the Eminem flow. Stop it. I'm not feeling what you start. I'm telling them, yo, don't get lippy. 116 had them all on the tippy. Yeah, rude boy, I'm dead in them. In my head, I'm barring. Beast mode. I'm gonna get your respect by barring. Beast mode, I'm gonna come for your neck by barring Beast mode, they never think that we're friends cause I'm barring This is beast mode, that's my time, my love, my thank you We emphasise the importance of being earnest, prioritise integrity and being honest But actually I think people get embarrassed when they meet someone true and filterless Coffee being grittiness, spilling from their lips, no milk to ease the bitterness you say you want my truth, but you want it semi skin. Want my light under a bushel, so you only see it dimmed. Well, I don't want to be no Chamberlain. Not interested in appeasement. Why would I want to set your mind at ease when I can make you uncomfortable? I want you to confront your desire for candor, because I will no longer pander to calls for authenticity. With the watercolour me, won't substitute veracity for verisimilitude. Will not present the appearance of truth. I will give you raw honesty, because that's honestly what you want from me. Okay, so let's discuss ideation. Suicidal is when you think about that mode you call survival and I wonder what it's like to have that type of self-preservation because at night my only preoccupation is driving right into the central reservation. No hesitation, don't worry, it's just a fascination. My hands, they'd never let me turn, it's just knowing just an option isn't something you unlearn. Oh, I'm sorry, are you feeling uncomfortable? Do you want me to be bite size? Shall I make it a lunchable? Are my thoughts too lifelike? Does that make you less fuckable? Do you want a version of vulnerable that you find palatable? You will not like this next verse at all. There's only one time that I now call rape. And that's because he smiled the next day and said I shouldn't drink so much. Amused, I couldn't recall his touch. Secondhand knowledge that I'd been fucked. But hey, at least he stayed. Once I found a condom wrapper, good news, I was safe. But I don't call that rape, just a drunken mistake. Do you know how many times I don't know if I got laid? Does that make you uncomfortable? The way I've made my insides discoverable. Does it make me less lovable? Is this bachelor and foe just a little bit insufferable? Well, I know that living can feel a lot like suffocation, smothered by loneliness and heartbreak and unmet expectations. And sometimes my words are met with crushing humiliation. But when another offers the same proclamation, feels a bit like intubation, offering my lungs some inflation. And if I can help somebody breathe, if the ugliest parts of me make you feel less lonely, because suddenly your identity no longer has this solitary piece terrifyingly unique, if each painful truth that I reveal can help somebody heal, then I will make you uncomfortable. Thank you. You were wrong! I'll put you on bed for your health! And now you've got it killed yourself! You tried so many times before! You had so much worth living for! It could have worked when you were young! But finally your time had come! The messed up thoughts inside your head led you to lay beside your bed and overdose like in the past! But this time it would be your last! I lost count of the pills you dropped! You took them all to make you stop! I found you lying on the floor! 
Coming in your own blood and door. I thought you were free of your addiction. You were still trapped by your affliction. You even sold your prized possession to find your chemical obsession. Another one, the neighbors thought, but they forgot the joy you brought. Through punk and oil and the things you taught to all the people who held you there, who knew you asked the angel near. I was not a part of that crowd, but I still hold on to a memory of feeling proud of seeing you playing on a stage. And after that, my life would change. I failed. I could not make you stay. But I'll keep going anyway. The fold them are clocks, a life unjust, and it's just not fair that man come fuss. So the chicken said, Lord, what the clock? <laughs> I want make the man yam we saw. So. Them yam we breast, them yam we wing, them suck them fingers, so we finger licking. <laughs> them yam we tie, them yam we leg, and we pick the bond, them yam the egg. <laughs> Them all tear out with throat and yam with gizzard. <laughs> then belch the gas and say, <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> them yam with back, them yam with neck. The place so clean, them no left a speck. We heen a the pen, afraid and a shiver when we see how them yam with skin and liver. <laughs> all the vein in our neck, the people, them a suck out. <laughs> if we didn't have a mouth, we'd have tell them what we suck out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you suppose when them yam we batty and call the parson noise? Ooh. Them boil we dung and make cock soup. If we ever did know, we'd have never let the cook. <laughs> them chop we ankle and chop we toe nail. Them fling we foot in a one peel. Them season that up and boil it dung. Them call it chicken put soup and it's healthy six pounds. <laughs> Lord, them say you hear and say, and this them called delicacy. Then why them no sell foot a KFC? I that will, I that make we fall a bow and a pop when we see we cousin in a pot and the yacht of you. <laughs> we fall a clock. How is it possible for we to atone when man and yam we gristle from a dry breast bone? It make we want to cuss a clock about this flipping cheek. It's a wonder them and yam all with flipping beak. We can't fly, we can't go nowhere. I yeah, we born and I yeah, we happy there. <laughs> when man done yam, them pick them teeth and talk about why that chicken did sweet. <laughs> Dollar for we meet and cent for we fluff. When that done sheer, it's still not enough. We can't say the word that rhymes with plucking. That's why humans say we're constantly clocking. Humans are clocking wicked and clocking bad. Then get me clocking upset and drive with clocking mad. <laughs> How part of we them use to cook? If we'd have a hate change cocky, then we'd have that too. 